Hello and welcome! Today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys some work outfits. Now I've been fortunate enough to have been working this whole time. I've been working from home for the last month or so so I've been hanging out in my comfy clothes and yoga pants but I will be working back on site because I actually start a new position within the company and that requires me to be working on site for that. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to go through my wardrobe and <laughs> remind myself of all the outfits I can wear because if I were to go back to work tomorrow working on site then I'd be like oh my gosh what am I gonna wear like what do I usually wear? I do want to look nice, I want to look stylish, I want to look professional, but I also don't want to look boring. When I think corporate, I think black, white, grey, pantsuit, it just turns my brain off. I want my personality to come through in what I wear. So we're gonna get straight into it. So the way I've structured this video is first we're going to do the pants and then move on to the skirts and then finally the dresses. Let's go. The first pair of pants I have are just some really nice tailored pants. Everyone needs just a really well fitted pair of pants. These ones are a straight leg. They have this sort of contrast detail down the side of them. I've just styled them with this nude colored skivvy. And the thing with pants is you want to make sure you can sit comfortably in them all day. All of my outfits I either style with these sort of tan colored loafers and they are super comfy and they're flat so I can just walk around in them all day and my feet will be fine. Otherwise, I have these black boots which I'm sure you'll see soon. And just as an example, I've changed to a sleeveless top and the tones of the top match in really nicely with the pants. So just use your discretion what's allowed at your workplace but uh, for me, this is fine. My next pair of pants is actually this really fun print. So I bought these thinking they were gingham, like a burgundy gingham, but they turned out to be completely different. But this print actually grew on me. It's super fun. And the material of these pants is slightly textured and it just goes with anything. I pair it with a black skivvy or a nude skivvy and somehow the colors just work really well together. So to keep your work wardrobe interesting, I would recommend a few fun prints in there, but having said that, I'd make sure that these prints are easily matched with a number of different colors um, and shirt styles and shoes so that you can get the most versatility out of them and you won't just be stuck with only one option to wear them with. And if it has black through it, then that's a really good start because you can just immediately pair it with a black top and black shoes. Next I have these bright orange pants and I'm not usually one for bright colors, especially orange, but I always get so many compliments on these and the cut is just great. So I always go for high-waisted pants, that just flatters my body the best and they cut off mid-calf. Next we have the exact same pair of pants but in black and an all black outfit. I know, riveting, right? But hear me out. To break up all the black, I've added my check coat. You can change it up with either what shoes you wear. I paired this with my favorite boots and I just think the whole outfit looks really chic. So moving on to skirts now, this outfit is my new favorite. I got both pieces from a Australian designer called Rachel Gilbert and I think they're still having a sale. It's like 50% off. So if you like this outfit, definitely check them out. All or most of the tops I wear can be mixed and matched with all the different pants and skirts. So that's what you want in your wardrobe. You want some really versatile pieces that you can just mix and match and makes it easy to make an outfit and put on your clothes and get out the door to work. Because the skirt has these blue tones through it, 
it just works really well with the blue skivvy. So here I've paired it with the black boots again. And for a warmer option, I have chucked on some stockings. The skirt also has black through it, so I can pair it with a black skivvy as well, as well as the tan. I have been living in skivvies all winter, and the colors I have are nude, tan, black, and this light blue color, which surprisingly goes with a lot of things. Next up we have this stretchy skirt. This skirt is probably one of the least exciting items in my wardrobe but I think that the asymmetrical detail of the hem makes it a bit more interesting and because it's stretchy it's just so comfortable and makes it such an easy choice to wear. It's like a charcoal grey colour and I can just pair it with any, any coloured skivvy. The next skirt I have is this gorgeous number, gorgeous buckle detail and the actual tones of the skirt is like a light beigey kind of colour, like a nude colour. I like pairing this one with a black skivvy or black top, otherwise a nude top works really well as well because it matches the nude tones in the skirt. Now moving on to dresses. This lilac dress is beautiful. It's stretchy and it's just so soft. So it just feels like you're wearing a comfy bean bag. Bean bag? No, sleeping bag. It's made of this ribbed material. The lines run vertically, so I think they elongate the body. And if you wanted to try like a pinstripe or something, ribbed material is a really nice subtle way to try that out. For the colder climate, I pair it with boots and a coat. Otherwise, I can pair it just with my loafers and I'm good to go. This next dress is very similar. It is a slightly darker, more blue gray, and it's just so comfy and easy to chuck on. And it goes really well with both black boots and my loafers. Next I've got this beige coloured dress. It is the perfect length for being professional. It's like just below the knee and it's so easy to pair with any sort of shoes. If you're getting sick of the bodycon kind of dresses, this one is slightly different with a bit of a flippy hem and I just think this hem is just a really cute detail. It's a really flattering silhouette and again that colour is just so easy to pair with any coloured shoes. Next I have this gingham dress and it's 100% cotton. I actually made this one myself. I have a sewing machine and do some sewing sometimes, occasionally. <laughs> this dress is so versatile because I can wear it just by itself with some loafers and that is perfect for hot Australian weather, especially when I was living in Brisbane. But because of its neckline, I can actually put on a black skivvy and some stockings and make it a much warmer option. So in my job, I want to be comfy all day and I know it's sometimes hard to find outfits that are comfortable to wear all day. But all these outfits, I am happy to wear them all day and they are super comfy. And that's it. So now I think you've seen my entire work wardrobe. Shout out if you're watching this and you work with me. Hello. I'd love to have some jumpsuits and I've been looking for the last year or so but I haven't found any that quite fit the bill that I like and also would be suitable for work as well. So hopefully I've given you some ideas and some options. I've curated this wardrobe for a few years now so don't be afraid if you're starting from scratch, um, it will take you some time to get some good pieces together. I'd encourage you when you're shopping for work clothes to ask yourself, what other items do I have that this will go with? Are the colors in it really versatile so I can pair it with lots of other things and get lots of options out of it? And I hope this maybe changes your opinion of work clothes, that they can be interesting and you can show a bit of your personality through them. If you liked this video, please hit the like button 
And if you want to see more from this channel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.